it's Taryn, it's time for Sunday Reads. So this week I finished a whole bunch of things. I finished uh, Lockwood and Company, The Screaming Staircase was the audiobook I finished. And uh, it was also by Jonathan Shroud and it was, it was a lot of fun. It was really nice having a female protagonist who was arrogant but also humble and basically like a flawed character uh, with a lot of strengths and some weaknesses and things like that. So I think the main character is about 15 years old her name is Lucy Carlisle, and she works for Anthony Lockwood uh, with George Cubbins, and they form a team of supernatural fighters. So London in this reality has basically had some sort of tear in the fabric of whatever, and now they get ghosts and other supernatural things, but children are the only ones who can see and interact with them. So it's the story of them vanquishing these ghosts and things like that, and getting their lives put in danger and so on. But it was a lot of fun, it was great, and I will definitely continue reading them. I'm just waiting for some audiobooks to come in. I also finished Codex Born, the second book in the... Magic X Libris series. I always just want to call it the Libriomancer series by Jim C. Hines. That's just the title of the first book. It was it made me remember the first book a lot better. I said last time that it was a very male book, but um, I think that it was a little bit, but in this book especially, there's a lot going on with the female character, um, who is a dryad, who basically, in this universe, you can pull magic out of books if you're a libriomancer, and you shouldn't be able to pull sentient beings out of a book, but someone had pulled out this dryad's acorn, and it grew into a thing, and um, Lena Greenwood came out and basically these dry, dryads were written in a book where they lived to please their masters and they evolved and changed into whatever their masters wanted from them. And this book explored a lot about, um, you know, people's feelings on what constitutes slavery and right and wrong between uh, relationships and how much you should work to please another person. And I thought that you know, in between all of the action, the relationships in this book were really, really good. And I will definitely be reading the third book, which I think I can get immediately. We'll have to see what happens. But uh, yeah, that was great. It's, uh, yeah. Anyways, I also finished uh, In Real Life, which is a graphic novel by Cory Doctorow and Jen Wang. Um, I got this for Christmas from Sabrina at Stekachino. Uh, I really, really wanted to read this because it's about a girl video gamer uh, learning about um, well, basically learning about other cultures and, and how she's living the privileged white, li white life and uh, basically, you know, just expanding her horizons. And I really enjoyed this comic a lot. It's, uh, it has pretty, pretty nice, simple art. I enjoy the coloring. Um, and she's in like this video game. So she learns, she gets to explore herself through, you know, breaking through into another character. But it also has a lot about female empowerment and things like that. So if you have any young ladies in your life who enjoy video games and female empowerment, I would go with this one. I also, did I finish anything else? Yes, I finished All the Birds in the Sky by uh, Charlie Jane Anders. I already turned that one back into the library, so I don't have it here, but it was good. Uh, the middle, the middle third, I think, was the best. I had trouble getting into it in the beginning because it was a little too simplistic, and then I had trouble with the end because I don't know where it was going. It was just going strange places, and I think that if it had been dialed back just a little bit, it would have been easier to uh, really enjoy the last part as well. But overall, it was it was a pretty good book, and I enjoyed reading it. I'd probably recommend it for anybody who's into magical realism and likes not understanding what's going on. Um, coming up next week, I'm going to, I don't have an audiobook picked out. I have a bunch on hold, but, uh, none of them have come in. So I'll probably just listen to podcasts. I, I need to catch up on lore, so I'll probably do that. I also got some graphic novels in. I got Day Tripper by Fabio Moon and Gabrielle Ba. This is, I don't, I don't know. I, I haven't, I've started like not reading summaries of things. I just go in and I have no idea what's going on. And sometimes it's a little frustrating, but sometimes it's really interesting. So this one, I'm only a little bit into it, but it's about a man who writes obituaries. So it talks about a lot about death and life. And it's by, um, the authors are from Brazil, so it's been translated. But the art, the art style is very uh, much like comics I'm used to reading from maybe the 80s and 90s. So I really like the art style a lot. 
but I'm very much looking forward to finishing that. I also picked up two Marvel ones. My library system has a lot of the X-Men um, graphic novels, so I will be reading a lot of that. I'm especially excited about Storm. I love her story, and I believe... I don't know if this is a new one or if this is one that has taken up like the old stories. I guess... I'm not really sure, because I, I recognize some of these these very much, like they look super familiar to comics that I own um, that are in this story arc, so I don't know exactly what's going on there, but I'm very excited about it. And I am rambling. Um, so the, the next book that I'm going to read is either going to be Nine Fox Gambit or To Like the Lightning uh, by Ada Palmer. And Nine Fox Gambit is by Yoon Ha Lee. But I haven't decided yet. Everything's up in the air, I guess. I'm just going to see what's happening. Other than that, I started my Whole30 food thing today. And of course, it's day one, so nothing feels weird. But I guess we'll find out what happens next week. I hope you're all doing well. Um, I'm umming a lot. I don't... Anyways. <laughs> uh, what are you reading? Tell me if you've had any exciting things going on over the weekend or if you're doing anything this, this coming week. And I guess I'm going to stop now before I do something weird. So until next time.